Hello everyone, welcome back to Sawdust and Circuits. Today's video starts with a Harbor Freight find. This little US General mini toolbox. And this was under 20 bucks. And honestly, they had every color of the rainbow. I couldn't not grab one. When I got home and really looked it over, it's pretty small. I get what they were going for, trying to make it usable with standard size tools. But personally, I wish they made it a three drawer version with shallow drawers. That would be perfect for what I had in mind. But instead of wishing, let's make it work. The first thing I did after unboxing it was to remove the logos. The front one is just a sticker and that comes right off. The one on the inside of the lid is silk screened, so it took a little bit of alcohol and patience. Now for the build. Now I already had a box of random parts and tools just for my Nomad 3 desktop CNC and honestly it was a mess. What I really wanted was a place where everything is visible, everything has its defined spot, and I can instantly tell what's missing before I put it away. So this toolbox became the experiment. To get these drawers out, there are small tabs on each side. You just lift them slightly and the drawers will slide right out. And now we have a blank canvas. Here's what I came up with. I designed two 3D printed drawer inserts, each with recessed pockets. The top drawer holds all of the mounting and clamping hardware that the Nomad came with. The bottom drawer holds the collet adapters plus space for up to 66 standard 8th inch bits. And it also has three larger bits, which are pretty common.
after filling it up with everything from my old junk box, this was already way more usable. At this point, all it really needs is labels. So let me know in the comments, was this a good use of a cheap, small toolbox? And what would you do with something this size? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.